So you've just joined a new gym, but you're a little bit unsure where to start. Well, don't worry. After today's video, we're gonna have you all set and ready to go with a great fitness and strength workout. I'm gonna go through all the techniques and all the equipment settings so you're gonna look like a pro in no time. And don't worry, all the equipment I'm gonna to use today is in like 99% of gyms. And if your gym doesn't have some of this equipment, well, maybe you should consider a different gym. Anyway, let's get stuck into your new workout. Now, the first place that I would start is the cardio section. It's important to warm up the body to reduce the chance of injury, but it also helps improve performance as well. Now, there's plenty of machines to choose from, but don't worry, there's no wrong choices in this area. They all do the same thing. They all get your heart rate elevated and warm up your muscles. So just choose one that's not too intimidating or looks right for you and jump on. Now, they always have a fairly confusing spectrum of buttons, but they always have a quick start button and they normally color it green. Just hit that button for now and then adjust your speed or intensity so that you feel like your heart rate's elevated, but you could still carry on a conversation with someone if you wanted to. Just like this. Now, some machines are self-powered, which means that quick start button won't work until you get that machine moving. Now, once you've been on your machine for at least five minutes, that should be good enough for a warm up. But stay on it because now we're going to start the fitness component of our training. Now, for the next minute, I want you to increase your speed or intensity significantly to the point where you can barely keep a conversation going with someone. Just like this. Don't worry, it's only for one minute. Once that minute is finished, I want you to drop right back. I mean, really easy because for the next minute, we're gonna recover as much as possible. And that's because we're gonna go again at the end of it. In fact, we're gonna repeat this minute on, minute off routine a total of five times. This means we're gonna be on the cardio for a total of 15 minutes. That's five minutes for our warm up, and then 10 minutes of our interval training. This interval training is like a shortcut to your results. It's gonna increase your fitness and burn way more calories than just doing normal, steady cardio. All right, now that our cardio is completed, it's time for us to do some resistance training. So for our resistance training, we're gonna do a total of six exercises. We're gonna do three upper body exercises, we'll do two lower body exercise, and we'll do one core exercise at the end. Now our first upper body exercise is going to be the incline dumbbell bench press. This is a great exercise for the chest, the shoulders, and the triceps. You're gonna need an adjustable bench for this one and you're gonna set the back to 30 degrees and you're gonna tilt the seat up. Grab yourself a pair of dumbbells and then lie down on that bench, starting with the dumbbells either side of your chest. At this point, your elbows should be directly underneath your wrists. From here, you're gonna push those dumbbells up and towards each other so they almost touch each other at the top of the movement. Separate them as you bring them back down and return to that start position either side of your chest. Then we're gonna repeat this for a total of eight to 12 repetitions. Now, if you can't get up to eight repetitions, then you've chosen a pair of dumbbells that are too heavy. So you're gonna to need to grab a lighter set of dumbbells and try again. Now, once you've completed your eight to 12 repetitions, we're gonna take a break for up to 60 seconds, no longer than that. Once you feel ready to go again or that 60 seconds is up, jump back in and we'll do another set of eight to 12 repetitions. Take another break and then we'll do a third and final set. Now, if at the end of these three sets, you've managed to do three sets of 12 repetitions, that means it's time to move up in weight next workout, okay? All right, let's move on to our second upper body exercise. Our second upper body exercise is going to be the seated row. Now the seated row is a great exercise for the upper back and the biceps. It'll look a little bit like this machine here. Hopefully it's got a label on it as well, but you'll find that 90% of the time it's got a handle on it that looks like this. So take a seat on the seated row and there should be an obvious place for you to put your feet. Once you've got them up there, push your hips back as far as you can so that your legs are almost straight. Grab the handle and then you're gonna sit back with a very slight backward lean. 
From here, we're gonna pull the handle towards our ribs, and when we do, we're gonna try and squeeze our shoulder blades together as much as possible. Relax and straighten out those arms again, and repeat this movement for a total of eight to 12 repetitions. Just make sure that when you do this movement, you don't hunch your shoulders up as you do it, as this can increase the chance of injury with this exercise. All right guys, if you manage to do three sets of 12 repetitions, that means it's time to move up in weight next workout. Great, let's move on to our third and final upper body exercise. Our last upper body exercise is going to be the lat pull down. This is a great exercise for the lats, the biceps, and it also helps improve your posture. Mine is on the same machine as my seated row, but most gyms will have a dedicated lat pull down machine. Its seat will be a little bit shorter, it'll have some foam rollers on it for your thighs to go under, and 90% of the time it will have a bar on it that looks like this. So take a seat on the machine and adjust the foam rollers so you can fit your thighs underneath them. You want it to be a snug fit though. Next, stand up and grab the bar and sit down with your thighs underneath the foam rollers in a very tall, proud posture. Basically, puff your chest out as much as you can. From here, you're gonna pull the bar down until your elbows can't go any deeper. Don't worry about how deep the bar goes, it's all about how deep you can pull your elbows. That'll make sure that you're using the right muscles to do this exercise. So you're gonna try and do eight to 12 repetitions for three sets, just like our first two exercises. But you can't move up in weight with this one until you can do three sets of 12 with a really nice posture. If you start to round your back like this as you do the exercise, then you're not ready to move up in weight. You need to make sure that you can complete all repetitions tall and proud. Awesome guys. Let's move on to our first lower body exercise. Our first lower body exercise is going to be dumbbell lunges. Lunges are a great exercise for the quads, the hamstrings and the glutes. They also help create balance between the two legs as most of us have one leg that's a little bit stronger than the other. Now first we're going to set ourselves up with our feet shoulder width apart. This is going to help give us balance when we're doing our lunges. Next, we're going to drop our back knee down towards the ground until it's about an inch away. At this point, you should know if your stance is the right length or not, as both knees should be around 90 degrees. At this point, I have my weight biased to the front leg. I have about 60 to 70% of my weight through it, and I drive off that front leg to stand back up again. You're going to repeat 10 times on one leg before you swap and do 10 on the other leg. You should also make sure that your hips stay underneath your shoulders as you're doing your lunges so you don't lean forward too far. Once you've done both legs, you're gonna rest for up to a minute and then repeat for a total of three sets. All right guys, let's move on to our second lower body exercise. Our second lower body exercise is called the back extension. And although it's called the back extension, it's actually a great exercise for the hamstrings and glutes if you do it correctly. Now the setup of this machine is just as important as the technique. You'll know if it's set up correctly because once you put your feet underneath the rollers and lean your hips against the hip pads, the top of the hip pads should be five centimeters below the bony part of your hip. Now at this point, we're gonna raise up our feet so it's just our heels pressing against the rollers. We're gonna get a nice posture by puffing our chest out and pulling our shoulder blades back a little bit to create some tension in our upper back. From here, we're gonna to start to lean forward, maintaining that pressure between our shoulder blades and trying to keep the same posture. If we feel our back start to round at all, we've gone too far. From here, we're gonna raise back up again until our body is in line with our feet. If we go further, if we start to hyperextend our back, again, we'll start to use our lower back too much. And we really wanna focus on the hamstrings and glutes. Now for this exercise, I would do a higher rep range than the others. 
I would look to do around three sets of 15 reps. If that starts to get a little bit easy, just grab yourself a light dumbbell and hold it against your sternum as you do this exercise. Just like the others, take 60 seconds rest in between each set. All right, let's move on to our last exercise, our core exercise. Our last exercise is going to be Swiss ball crunches. Swiss ball crunches is a great overall ab exercise that we can do. Now the size of the ball isn't as important as you might think. You just need to make sure that the ball isn't too big for you. You know if it's too big because if you sit on the ball and your thighs slant up, then it's too big. As long as your feet are parallel to the ground or even slant down, that's completely fine. So to start this exercise, you wanna take a seat on the ball and then roll forward so that you're lying back on it. Next, you wanna position yourself so that the small of your back is on the very top of the ball. At this point, your feet should start to feel a little bit light on the ground. Next, we're gonna push our hips towards the ceiling by squeezing our glutes. Now we're gonna keep squeezing our glutes as we start to do our crunch. If you do it correctly, you shouldn't be able to sit all the way up. If you can sit all the way up, then you're either dropping your hips down or you're rolling that ball too much. The ball should stay fairly still throughout the whole exercise. So from this top part of the crunch, we're then gonna come down to where we're almost parallel with the ground again. We're not going to relax. So you should feel like your abs are tensing the entire time. They're just kind of squeezing harder or easier as you do this exercise. Now, as far as the rep range goes, we're gonna aim a little higher with this one. We're gonna look for around three sets of 20 repetitions. And as always, we're just gonna take 60 seconds rest in between each set. If you can do three sets of 20 easy enough with your arms across the chest, then to step it up, move your elbows out from your head or even reach right back behind you. Congratulations, you've reached the end of your workout. Now you could do a little stretch down at this point if you've got time, but as far as the exercise component goes, you're done. Now to make it easier to remember, I've done a little cheat sheet that you can download, which has got all the exercises and sets and reps, so it's easier for you to remember. It's just linked in the description below. Now, if your gym's a little bit more ghetto or you're just looking for some extra ideas, then check out this video over here. There, I've done a workout that just uses a bench and dumbbells. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions or comments, just throw them in the comments below. And if there's anything you'd like me to do in the future, just let me know. Excellent, I'll see you in the next video.